Welcome to eVision Live with Dr. Alexandra Kleberg and Dietrich Busacker. Welcome to your happy, healthy, fulfilled life. My name is Dietrich Busacker and uh, I've been working for over 30 years in all over the world in projects, accompanying projects, advising projects in the field of rural development, sustainable development, education and good governance. And two years ago, I completely changed my business and created together with Alexandra eVision. My name is Alexandra. I'm a psychologist, a psychodrama therapist, a behavior therapist, a psychoanalyst, a Jungian analyst, I have to say that. And I've been collecting self-healing stories from all over the world and throughout times for many, many decades. I have translated them into a modern language and so to say I teach self-healing to groups and from my many, many groups there come a lot of self-healing exercises and images back to me and since I'm so fulfilled with this theme and enthused to bring self-healing into the world. I've written seven books on self-healing, on different aspects, and now I'm in this uh, vision life to bring my message to the world that self-healing is learnable, trainable, and teachable. Thank you, Alexandra, and thank you to you for being here and watching us. This is our very first broadcast of e vision life, so Maybe not everything will work uh, that Everything perfectly. will work as good as it, it is. Uh, <laughs> okay, but uh, we uh, are going to do our best and thank you for, for being here and thank you for giving us your likes and your hearts and if you want, please leave your comments below. We really appreciate if you comment uh, uh, what we are saying, what you're taking away. Please leave your comments below during the uh, broadcast and also afterwards. Yes, I think it's very important for us. We define division as a learning field and uh, self-healing as a learning field where we inspire each other and help each other to transform. And maybe what we should say is that we are from Germany. So our English is German English. Uh, and I hope you understand it. And we, I think we get most of it what we will come back from you. Uh, otherwise, we will just ask. I hope this is understandable for you. Okay, so when we will discuss about what could be our first topic to, to discuss, um, we thought we start with the theme of the power of vision. Our company is called eVision and so the power of vision might be the, a good topic to start with. Yes, and eVision means it's emotional, electronic, enthused, energy. So there is a lot of what you can put into the e. And the main topic is vision because it is our vision to bring this into the world. That self-healing potential development and transformation in groups is learnable, trainable and teachable. And for me, I got so excited from this uh, approach from Alexandra, her teaching and the success I have viewed with many people who are going, participating in your daily groups and that I really thought this is something we have to bring out and this is part of our vision of which I would like to tell a little bit, a little story mm -hmm. of how we got to this vision because uh, it may, uh, one day it made a click in my mind and I had been for quite a while I had been uh, looking about I have a successful business but I had been looking for something like the what is the sense of, of it, what is the vision for it, and I was not quite sure on if I was still on the wrong on the, on the right way. So one day we saw a master class, we watched a master class of Vision Lakyani, it was uh, night, we were overlooking on a, from a, our house at Lake uh, Lago Maggiore in, in, in uh, southern Switzerland, we were looking over the lake, the, the lights of the buildings on the other side, the stars uh, sprinkling in the sky 
and we looked at this masterclass where he teaches about the different states of mind from the state of victimhood, the state where people use tools already a little bit uh, in order to improve the world, the people who have a vision to, to develop this world and people who are enlightened and awakened the state of a guru mind. Maybe. So the first step is I'm a victim of this world. The second step is I can create the world and the third step is I have a vision for myself and the world and then there's this enlightened state, yes. Yes, and the next day, well, there was a night. During the night, sometimes you, uh, during the sleep, you uh, think a little bit more about it. And the next day we went up to the mountain on this, uh, into yes, the snow. And I said, I have visions all the time, but I need this practical step where you have tools and mechanisms how to bring them into the world and you said I have all these tools and I'm lacking the vision. Yes, that was a little bit my impression which I had after the, watching this video. So the next day when we took a, a snow shoe a walk up, in the, up on the mountain and there was a blue sky above us um, we discussed more about these things, how we could bring into the world this idea of self-healing, of potential development and because so far Alexandra had been more or less only, um, except for writing a few books and giving some speeches, teaching this to her groups in her daily practice, but our idea was now, which was born at that moment, to really to bring it out into the world and uh, so the idea, the name was born on this mountain. The name of first of all was called Vision E, then we later transformed it to E Vision Publishing. Uh, and so th this vision was born. So this was this little story of our the create of the creating of uh, E Vision. And since then, many things have happened, and my life has changed uh, very much. So um, maybe Alexander, you could, as a psychologist, give us a little bit more background. What is a vision? A vision is very complex. The first step to enter into the field of the vision, for me, is what I teach in groups, are wishes. In our German school system and education system, we really don't teach children how to wish. We teach them how to get rational at a very early age. And I think wishing, dreaming is a very, very important pre-step before you come into a vision. So to my clients, I give the task that they sh should write down all their wish their wishes with the heart and the mind of a young child, with an innocent, with a spontaneity. So they shouldn't stop writing. They are just writing hundreds of wishes down very fast so the rational mind can't come in and say, oh, that's not possible, you're too old, uh, you're a woman, you can't learn it, you're a man, you can't learn it, that has never been done. So all this self-destructive sentences can't uh, take back your power. So coming back to wishing is very, very important with the heart of a very small child that can't really differentiate that a Ferrari is more expensive than, a, than an ice cream. Yes, so just wish with this childlike heart. About a week ago, I had a speech with many, many people and there came in a businessman with a suit and with a tie and with a laptop case and somebody brought him there and I think he didn't really know what would happen there. And when I hold a speech, I'm doing a lot of exercises and I did an exercise coming back to this little child heart, little child mind. And we do that as an imaginational process and I did that for about 10 minutes to go back to this childhood mind and heart and uh, afterwards I asked the people how did you feel 
which feelings, ideas came and he was there for the first time and he stood up and said and was very very moved it felt so good to feel this little child again and he was very moved by that and that's exactly what is the first step to vision is to wish to wish like we did as a child and the next step is when you have these hundreds of wishes that you test them in your body that you test if they feel good or if they make tension so some wishes might be great but don't feel good in the body i did this exercise i don't know 10 years ago with a woman and she was a social worker and she said oh she wants to be a social president and she would give the social workers more money and more research and whatever and she was very excited yes i want to become a social minister and then after a few days and nights of sleep she said oh no that's bureaucracy i would have to sit in the office all the time and i can't live in lindau anymore i would have to go into a big city and this and that and she said no that's not really my wish that was a spontaneous thought but that's not a wish that i would put into a vision so but what we then would be then uh the difference between a wish and a vision. Yes, I explained that. We, we, it's step by step. I said visions are very complex. Mm -hmm. And for me, they start with wishes and they start with imagination. Mm -hmm. And we need an educational system where we support imagination and wishing. In uh, Germany, we have the fairy tales from the Gebrüder Grimm and we have two different beginnings and the old beginnings are i would translate it like them in a time where wishing was successful and later on the fairy tales start with once upon a time so that makes a difference for me mm -hmm. the beginning yes and we need to have a different look on our children on the power of imagination and the power of wishing so the next step is to test the wishes in the body if it's really your wish and if it doesn't really feel good because you can't build up a vision that doesn't feel good mm -hmm. it, it won't work yes if i would wish to be an astronaut uh, i would be <laughs> scared right mm -hmm. it might be a wish but it doesn't feel good so it should feel good overnight as well the next step is to analyze if the wishes that you have if they really come from your heart they might come from your parents like your parents said you should become a doctor or you should become a sportsman or you should become a nurse or something so that might not be really your wish and you should find that out it should be really your wish which you put into a vision it might also be a wish that comes from commercial television mm -hmm. yes that you have to color your hair blonde right <laughs> or get blue eyes or whatever so you should really test that too does it feel good is it your heart wish or does it come from the outside mm -hmm. so that would be the next step and that these steps will reduce these let's say 100 wishes maybe to five mm -hmm because if you want to build up a vision a vision is a long-term process a vision is not i have the vision for tomorrow that uh, i have coffee and i go dancing or so that's a wish it's a wish yes a vision is a long-term process and you really need the enthusiasm to go through all the difficulties mm, we will talk mm. about that i think in one of the next videos mm. or, or broadcasts so if you have these let's say five wishes you want another job you want maybe another partner you want a child or you want to another house or apartment or whatever if you really feel that's enthusing my heart and you try that out tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and it's getting stable that it enthuses mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. 
Yes. That it, feels good in my it body. It feels yeah. good. It enlightens your fire and it goes over time. Mm -hmm. Then you say, okay, I want to build up a vision out of these wishes. Mm -hmm. Right, so the vision might be in a year or two, you can have short term, long term visions, maybe one year, five years, ten years, and mm -hmm. you say, Oh, I want a partner, I want a child, I want a house, and I want another job. And what you then do is put them into a picture. Mm -hmm. Vision comes from a Latin word, it's videre, and mm -hmm. videre means to see, to view. Mm -hmm. It might be etymological, be in view, in vision. So you make a colored pictures, picture out of it. You see mm -hmm. the partner, you see the baby, you see the house, you see maybe the dog you buy, and you see you having a telephone call with a company uh, that you work with, mm -hmm. for example. So you put all these wishes into one mm -hmm. vision. One picture, one image. One picture, one image. And it's image that you really, and you try to see this image, really to imagine it, to That's feel it. That's what I will explain then, okay. yes. You know, you know that already, right? <laughs> That's your, on your vision path now for two years. So you do know that, but I want to explain it to yes. them. But so maybe you leave, first of all, if you have any wish that comes in your mind, just yes, leave down your great. wish, just, just write down your wish. It can be a wish that is so out of the world, so completely uh, crazy, just put down and we are really looking for the most craziest wish. Yes, so uh, that, that would just be great. give us some comments, yes. some wishes that you are thinking of that come into your mind with an open mind of a child, which is a wish that is really crazy. Yes. So that's a good uh, point. The wishes shouldn't be normal because when they are normal, they might have to do with your frontal cortex and your uh, frontal intelligence. They might not be a hard wish. So just wish it a little bit crazy, a little bit bigger than you think it's possible, a little bit wider than you think you can manage. So it should really inspired you to go forward so you make a an image out of it mm -hmm, a picture mm -hmm. and then it's very very important to get all your senses into this visionary picture it means that you see it and then that you hear it maybe you hear a talk maybe you hear a music Mm -hmm. Maybe you hear your dog barking or your mm -hmm. baby screaming or your company ring ring on your handy. So just put sounds in it so you can hear it. Because if you get this vision from many senses, it will be better stabilized in your brain. And then you, what other sense do you have? You smell it. Mm -hmm. It might smell, smell like cinnamon, it might smell like rose, it might smell like any deodorant. Deo, deo? Mm -hmm. You know? Psh, 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 psh. Yes. <laughs> like a puff perfume. It might smell like vanilla, like apple, like orange. Just decide how does it smell. It might even smell like sweat if you yeah, put good some exercise whatever. exercises yeah. in that yes and then you taste it maybe mm -hmm. you have an ice cream you have a soup maybe you a buy nice smoothie. a smoothie or whatever in it just taste it you need all your senses and then you go into this vision or you zoom this vision to you that you are in the vision as if it has been fulfilled right now. And then you taste it. You No, you touch, you touch it. You touch that baby. You touch that partner. Mm -hmm. You touch the, the, the walls or you touch the cup where you're drinking from. So make it a multi-sensual experience. Imagine the key of your Ferrari where you put that you're putting in and opening it. If you it, want uh, a Ferrari, <laughs> yes, just just imagine it, yes, um, and feel it, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, feel it. 
when you have all your senses in, then something magic happens. The vision, which was a picture, becomes an experience in the body. And that is the path how you materialize a cognitive picture, a picture from the brain. Mm -hmm. How you materialize it is through your senses and use as many senses as possible. And then do that over and over and over again so it becomes an experience. Mm -hmm. And what happens when something is an experience? You feel you know how to get there, you develop pride, you are self-assured, you're maybe joyous, you're proud, you're happy, and this will influence the contacts you mm -hmm. have. It mm -hmm. will influence how you walk through your day and how you walk along this very year. And you will embody this vision. And this is the first part of materialization, is to embody it. And, and you this, call this embodimental imagination. I call this embodimental imagination. Though you're already right now the king or queen of your vision, or you're the 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 hero of your vision, or the the whatever how you call it, and uh, then you embody it so it gets materialized, and this helps to get more possibilities so the statistics will change if you haven't done it if it's just a picture you say oh this might not work or whatever but if you have gone through this process you will get more and more and more possibilities that work with your vision it's mm -hmm. not a guarantee but it's the path and even if it doesn't get fulfilled it's very very wonderful to be on the path our vision is to bring self-healing into the world, to everybody to there. It's, it's a very big vision and I really don't know if I will manage this in my lifetime. But the path alone is very, very exciting and you help few, you may help 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 people. And the path to this vision is as exciting, I think, as the vision itself. Maybe it's even more exciting because things happen you you never put into this vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can just confirm it because like, when we had this vision, we got immediately active. We created the company uh, what was registered two weeks later already. And since then, life has changed. I've, we got to know so many new different people we have never had never met before. Uh, we got let's see, we got energized. I would say we got mm -hmm. energized because this vision was somehow giving us energy, and we could uh, in order to work because both of us were having our normal practice or company still and working on it in order to make money, but uh, to earn our life. But then we still have the energy, and uh, we somehow managed uh, to to our time to work on this vision and to, to bring it out, to, to create, for example, this eVision live broadcast mm -hmm. in order to, yes, to get into contact with you. And so please leave down your comments and uh, below if you have any, anything, any thoughts about uh, what, we are, what we are telling here. So please, uh, we want to stay in contact with you. So this will be our first eVision Live broadcast about vision and there will be another one and maybe a third one. There is much more to say. I said it's very complex and I want to put the steps we discussed today together for you. So it's first write down your wish list without your frontal brain, just with the innocence of a young child with the heart of a young child and then maybe the next day you check those wishes th through your body does it feel good does it open up or does it tension your body and the third step is to analyze is that really a wish from you it might be a wish your parents gave you into your cradle or it might be a wish from from commercial tv or it might be a wish from your group or from your partner so really 
analyze if that's your wish and then feel if this enthuses you if it brightens your spirit if mm -hmm. it lights up your mind if it nice. opens up energy and those wishes you write down it might be one to ten which are left over then and out of these images of these wishes make an image and then or two or depending on whatever probably no put it in one image in one, or yes. everything in one image one said. image it's okay. easier for the unconscious it's just it's mm -hmm. not a moral okay. thing you can't have two wishes put two wishes in one image mm -hmm. okay. yes so. put it in one be creative with that and then get it in with all your senses and then mm -hmm. embody it and there's much more to it and if you want to know it just join us the next week so okay so in just a week at the same time we will have another broadcast this was e-vision live the the power of, of vision, vision one, number one. Mm -hmm. and the power of vision number two will be next week at the same time mm -hmm. so please leave us your comments below think what you have taken away from this uh, little discussion by uh, between us mm -hmm. how do you like our format uh, the way the dia we dialogue uh, through this uh, broadcast. Uh, we, our idea is to have this broadcast every week at the same time and we will be uh, discussing among us but we will also inviting and interviewing other people who either have success stories, have healed themselves, have visions, have uh, uh, yes, br brought something into the world so there, there could be good examples. So we will interview these people. And so hopefully you will come back next week at the same time and join us again for eVision Live. Thank you and see you again very soon.